So, as an intermediate Linux user, I've used all kinds of Linux distros. Manjaro, Ubuntu, Fedora, Magia, even Corora back in the day. One Linux distro that I've never really used, however, was OpenSUSE. I don't know why, I've just never used it before. So one day I just said, you know what? I should try OpenSUSE. So I did. This is my summary of my two weeks with OpenSUSE. For those who aren't in the know, OpenSUSE is a community developed Linux distribution that's apparently sponsored by SUSE, a German open source software company. According to the internet, OpenSUSE aims to make Linux widely available and easy for everyone to use. So how did it go? Well, after I downloaded a copy of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, the rolling release version of OpenSUSE, I burned it onto a USB drive. I installed it on a spare hard drive I had laying around. The installer was easy enough to use. Although I was kind of in a rush so I might have forgotten to choose which repos I wanted to add remove from the installer, I went ahead and installed the KDE Plasma version because that's just how I roll. After all the standard stuff like setting up a username and a password, I was off to the races. After installation, I was greeted with the OpenSUSE welcome app. Nice touch, but I never read these, so I closed out. I probably should have read at least some of it because I would have figured out what to do with the NVIDIA driver situation a lot sooner. Anyway, as I was just messing around in Plasma, I noticed I didn't have any graphics driver installed. Like not even Nouveau. Everything was a bit choppy and I had almost zero compositing. But this is fine because I could just install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers anyway. This is when reading the darn basic section in that welcome app would have come in handy. Anyway, after looking up what to do on the internet, I got the drivers downloaded. And boy, let me tell you, I have never seen so many EULAs for drivers in Linux. And after that, it was business as usual. So I wanted to check out what gaming was like on OpenSUSE. I downloaded some games and imported some of my backed up games as well. First, I played my backed up games through emulators like PCSX2 and Dolphin. And I noticed small hiccups every few minutes that I'd not noticed on any other distro before. It would happen every few minutes, but it wasn't enough to consider a game unplayable. It was just very strange. So I tried to see if this happened on non-emulated games, such as the ones in my Steam library. Turns out, normal gaming works just fine. No hiccups, no stutters, nothing. I still haven't been able to find out why emulated games specifically are stuttering, but yeah. It could just be user error, I have no idea. Normal gaming went smoothly though. Those games play just as well as they do on other distros. Sadly to say, I didn't really try out Yast, because I didn't really run into any instances where I'd use it. I hear that Yast is an amazing system administration tool. I had a look around Yast, just to see what's up and it seems like a robust tool that could cover all of your Linux sysadmin needs through the GUI. You can configure everything from here, it seems. From your printers to your bootloader configuration, it's all here. It's worth noting that one of the main advantages of using OpenSUSE is that OpenSUSE has ButterFS snapshots. These snapshots let you save a particular instance of your file system and let you roll back to that snapshot if anything were to happen. One thing that I really enjoyed about OpenSUSE were the packages available to me. Like there are just so many things available in the repos by default. And since it's a rolling release, everything's up to date. If something isn't in the repos, there's the OpenSUSE build service, or OBS, not to be confused with the streaming software. For those familiar with Arch, OBS is sort of like the AUR. It's where users can submit their packages if it's not on the official repos. The difference between the AUR and OBS is that you can package your app for different distros as well. Also, the packages are pre-compiled on their servers, so the installation goes a lot quicker on your end. I like that there's really no need for PPAs and stuff here, like third-party repositories. Like, almost everything is in the official repos. And if it's not, you have Flatpak and OBS. 
So overall, I enjoyed my time in OpenSUSE. Aside from the weird emulation hiccup, it works well for everything you need from gaming to photo and video editing. And I really, really enjoyed its up-to-date packages and the amount of packages available on OpenSUSE. I hope to test out other distros in the future, so I'll be signing off. Peace.